a little lower today because I wanted you to see my decorations behind me. I'm sitting here instead of my chair today because it's a little early and the sun just came over the back of the shed and so I would be in that situ Ugh. in that situation. Now you don't have to look at my tissues. <laughs> in that situation that I was in a while ago. Where the lighting was not good. So I hope you are well. <laughs> it drives me crazy that my head is so low though. So, see my wreath? It doesn't look good? All right. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, that wreath is normally on the door to the basement. It was a Christmas decoration from, I don't know, 15 years ago. And it's been on the door ever since. <laughs> Well, it goes, it goes with my um, decor. And it doesn't scream Christmas, except when you put it over your mantle at Christmas time. But it's, you know, burgundy colored dried flowers that are made into a wreath. It could just be a wreath. It doesn't have to be Christmas wreath, right? But it looks good there. I've never had it there before. So I did do something new today. I'm wearing my clock earrings again that Megan gave me <clears throat> for my advent because uh, Leslie commented and said and told me the story. So the 1010, the time of 1010 is the time that she said that they, um, it looks like a little smile on the face and people respond to that so that when they're trying to sell clocks they put them and they're not running they they set the time for 10 10 and it and it, it's more appealing she said that when they set the clocks at 8 20 they don't sell as well <laughs> are people funny we're funny we're very funny creatures so i was inspired to wear them again although i realized well, I wanted to tell you that story, but I realized that my my kiwi wooden ones would have gone as well or better with my sweater. This is my Karina sweater by Isabel Kramer. <laughs> but um, this is a very inappropriate yarn for this sweater. This is a beautiful... Um, merino silk single <laughs> that I love. I love the color. It's called lichen. I don't, um, Franco Fee Knits, um, she changed her name to Cardinal. I don't know if she's still dying or not, but I really love the color and I made a sweater out and I love this sweater, but this sweater is so Wow, it's too big for me now, and it's more slouchy. It's it's like an, a lovely, soft, comfy old sweatshirt. That's what it, that's how I wear it. I wear it around the house like a comfy old sweatshirt, and I love it. And as I'm saying that, I'm just realizing that I value that a lot. And so this is not a dig on the sweater, although I don't recommend a merino silk single <laughs> necessarily for a sweater that's going to be in heavy rotation and all my sweaters are in heavy rotation except for the ones that are in my um, hand wash bin I have a laundry basket as big as Dennis and I have a laundry basket for our dirty clothes and I my my sweaters and things were piling up that needed to be washed so I bought myself exactly the same laundry so we have two laundry baskets in our bedroom and one of them is just for my hand knits <laughs> <laughs> and it's currently full so I need to start working on that for when it gets really bitterly cold because my Malin sweaters in there and um, my um, Washington Square but two, but two uh, cardigan is in there I don't know what else is in there but a lot of socks are in there I'm soon gonna have to wash my socks again I worked on my sock yesterday Speaking of socks, day 12, 
and um, for a little while, and, and I did send a, and I told you this yesterday, I did uh, send a note to the designer of the cowl, but I haven't heard back from her. I'm soldiering on. I wanted to work on my cowl last night, so I did. So I'm just going to assume, I mean, and, and it's funny because I'm getting further and further. I should be able to tell if, how, you know, how it's working, but it look, it, it's looking good enough. It's looking, it's going to be a gorgeous cowl. So I'm just keeping going on and I'm opening this. This is a dish, dishcloth. Look at this beautiful pattern. Oh, I think that's, I think that's a kiwi. There it is, a kiwi. <laughs> Wonder what the other one is. The other part of the design. Maybe it goes like that. Oh, 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 it's a baby kiwi and a mama kiwi. <laughs> you just... I'm showing it to you and I'm not looking. How cute. That's, and it's pretty too. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you. Actually, I was just thinking I need, I, I, I may be, I may be taking that Christmassy dishcloth. This is a more, um, Um, the fabric is more actual, like linen, um, or, yeah, oh no, cotton. Um, yeah, and it's called a tea towel. And, um, so Dennis is very particular about the towels that go in his kitchen. But... I'm going to be cleaning, and the table that sits next to my chair has an extremely thin veneer of nice wood on the top. And I've discovered that over the 20 years that I've been sitting there with my stuff on it, and the veneer is worn off on my side of the table. And I'm cleaning today and try, you know, trying to figure out how to make everything look lovely. And I thought, well, I could put that Christmas tea towel that I have using, that I'm using as my tree skirt on top of that table for company. Thank you, my dear. This is lovely. This will be for me. This will be for me because I use tea towels separately from Dennis sometimes and I think this one will be for me. Thank you so much. I love the colors. Um, so I'm cleaning today. I realized last night that I'm, I was feeling very out of sorts. And I realized I was out of sorts for two reasons. One is because I've been feeling like I need to clean and I haven't done it. And so it's like weighing on me. And the other reason is because I haven't cleaned and it's, and it needs to be cleaned and and the, knee, the, the fact that it's dirty is weighing on me. So the fact that I'm not cleaning it is weighing on me. And the fact that it is the, the, the actual environment is weighing on me. And I can kill two birds with one stone right there. Clean my house. So I'm doing that today. I discussed it with Dennis. Look at this color. Oops. Oh, Megan, that is gorgeous. I, oh. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous green. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so rich. <gasps> love, love, love. Love, love, love. And it's a tonal. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's going in my bag. That's going in my bag. So anyway, so then I was thinking in terms that means I'm going to have to clear that table off because right now it's full of junk. I don't know if you can tell, just a little bit. And it's if I clear it off, then the crummy veneer is going to show. So I thought, oh, but I have a Christmassy thing I could put under there. 
I'm at least one companies here. <laughs> I'll take it up when they leave so that it doesn't get dirty from all my junk. Mm. Mm. I love that color. Love, love, love that color. Mm. That's going to be beautiful in my cowl. I should be more strategic about my colors in my cowl because, um, like, well, then I'm going to have to figure out sort of where everything is going to be situated on my face when I'm wearing it. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, so I got two little gifties in my pearl stitch and witch. I got two little wooden things that say handmade to put on my knitwear that I give away or that I make for myself. And cute little owl. Can you see that? If I put it too close, it's too, it might be too bright. Yeah. And copper. That's very pretty. I did bring my stitch marker holder slash key ring over so I could put it on there. And today is the last day of my 12-day advent from Arctiza our Art Company. I am not exactly sure when the 12 days of Christmas are, but I'm very sure that they're not the first 12 days of December. Okay, this is a, another pen acrylic marker gold and my instructions are what would Christmas be without bright Christmas lights create a painting drawing or mixed media piece depicting dazzling Christmas lights use your new gold metallic marker for our final creative holiday challenge so there you go so I have I guess I'll take the wood I didn't know what to do with these woods, so I left them in. Those are from day eight. So that's it for my 12 days of Christmas, Arteza. And not sure where it went. It was just here. Oh, I put my tissue box on it. <laughs> Dennis had this size of container that he wasn't sure what to do with, so. It turns out it's perfect for my 12 days of Arteza, including the pad. So here is my little acrylic set that I'm that's all ready for me to go, except for the brush didn't fit in there. Now I need to, <clears throat> as I keep saying ad nauseum need to do a little research I do not think that acrylic brushes and watercolor brushes are the same watercolor brushes are really designed to um, hold a lot of water in them I don't know that that's true that 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 doesn't seem true for this one although there is nothing on here that says that it is acrylic it just says Arteza premium this is a number four round so I do not know I will just have to remember that that came with my acrylic and here's my handmade things thank you so much Megan this is beautiful this is beautiful <sighs> oh and this is what I sent the girls for their, I'm going to have to text them and see how they're liking their bracelet. I have not heard anything for the girls um, Advent charm bracelet. And this is what Megan got from me. Um, There 
you go. So I'm planning on cleaning today. Dennis was was even talking about doing the um, carpet, washing the carpet, because we're having dinner guests on Tuesday, and company on Saturday, and then Christy comes. Nineteen twenty twenty one. A week from Tuesday, she'll be here. She's um, heading east on Friday, but she'll be going to her dad's first. So there you go. So I, and I'm ready to have a cleaner house. I realized that last night, that just the way, you know, these piles, these corners, the table have started weighing on me. And, um, so I woke up this morning ready to get started. In fact, I already got started. I don't know if you can hear it, but my dishwasher's going. We have a shelf, we have a, a pie safe. <laughs> it's called a pie safe. We call um, Okay, I just realized I've been talking to myself and I don't know how long. <sighs> I think maybe you didn't see the pie safe. <laughs> so here's the pie safe in my kitchen. It's a nice wooden piece. The shelf down there, see how dusty it is? It was full of bowls and plates and things. They're in the dishwasher right now, and I'm going to dust the top of it. So I'm cleaning that today. That's one of the things I'm cleaning today. So people coming in my kitchen will will not see that. Um, Aura and Garland, oh, wow. Aura and Russ and Pat will come through the garage, and so they'll see that right away. So I want that clean. And I'll probably tell Annie to come through the garage too so she doesn't have to walk all the way around because, you know, it's not like my entryway it looks great. It's got a chair in it, <laughs> my old chair. See, my old chair by the front door. <laughs> that can't go out to the trash till the end of the month, so it's here till Christmas, so oh well. Anyway. <sighs> I'm gonna go now and get started on my day, although I did start since the dishwasher's running. Or maybe I'll sit and finish my coffee. Oh, I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you my cow. This is gonna be another one of those long ones. But I wanted to show you my cow because I did continue working on it. <coughs> Just started another white row. I have decided that I like the white. I, just, I need to find something to hold hold these things. I've decided I like the white, and I just started. I you know wanted to put the new color on, but this is where I am so far, and I have no idea what color I'm going to put on next. But oh, I have that gorgeous green now to add to the mix. We shall see. But I think this is turning out beautiful it looks like it's gonna make sense when it's done and I'm really happy with it but I never heard back from the designer so I'm just like I said soldering on but I am liking the I am liking the cream color in between after all and um with any kind of a mini project you're gonna have some similarity because you're using small stripes of different yarns and that's always going to give you sort of a look so but it's very different it looks very different than my heart and cow that i made last year so i'm not going to worry about it so there you go that's how it is all right now i'm gonna go and i'll talk to you later so here we go this is what the pie safe looks like after i've cleaned it all those are clean dishes, everything is dusted, the picture's been cleaned. I did not put everything back that was on here before because it was just too messy and they weren't necessarily things that we were super cared about. And then, here's what's going on. This is our, I forget the name of the box, but it's got filters all the way around and this 
it filters COVID and it filters dust and everything. There's the crate. So the crate came out. So we cleaned back behind the crate, which was disgusting. I don't even want to tell you. The carpet's clean. Those little bits and pieces are mazy dog fur that we'll pick up when we can go in there, but it's uh, still wet. So we have two fans going to dry the carpet. And then this is my task for tomorrow. This is the table. Some of this will go away once we redo the, still didn't do my pockets yet, once we redo, reset up the living room. So there you go. That's where I'm going to be sitting. I think I'm going to be tiptoeing with my slippers and sit there when I do my crafting with Christy tonight. But um, we shall see. But I'm feeling way, way better. The house is way, way cleaner. And all the dog beds are washed. They're airing out and their covers are all in the washer. So the rugs are all clean. It's going to be very nice in here. Talk to you later. Okay, kids, a change of plans because Dennis reminded me my old chair is sitting in the hallway. This is our front door. This is my chair. Uh, and it's going to be here till the end of the month. <laughs> so I'm going to sit here. I have everything I need. This will, and I will show you my view. And then I'm going to sit here and get ready to edit so Dennis can have his computer because he didn't have a chair either. So here you go. Here's my view. My junky stuff that's going upstairs. There's um, Van Gogh's crows over the cornfield. That's where they, it ends up um, at Christmas time. And there is a portrait of my, I'm sure this is a portrait of my grandmother. This is the same woman that I had the picture that I sent to my sister. My grandfather painted this. And I always thought this was a self-portrait that my sister painted of herself. So my sister and my grandmother look very much alike. My sister gave me that. She's had it for years. So I'm very excited to have that. And... That's the stuff I have to take upstairs. I promised Dennis if he would get his junk out of the food area, I would move my junk out of the hallway, and I'm going to do that. And there's the table. So there you go. Oh, more stuff to go upstairs. So this is it for me. I am going to sign off and say I hope you're having... Oh, there's a wine jug in a t-shirt. Hope you're having a great day. And my sock bag and my... <laughs> my cow. Oh, and my dirty shirt. I've been cleaning. That was probably dinner, though. <laughs> Tell you the truth. And I will say good night. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please stay safe and stay sane.